So hello. Hello everyone. Welcome to my very small YouTube channel about knitting, mostly knitting. My name is Isabelle. I am in France. I have three sons and I have three cats. Some say it's related. And I'm filming these videos in English because I miss my English so very much. I used to live in the United States, but uh, that was over 30 years ago, so I don't have any opportunity to practice my English, my talking English. And uh, today it's going to be a video about my usual knitting adventures. And so if that sounds good to you, and if my English mistakes and hesitations do not bother you too much, please stay tuned. So my cats are in the house. It's a bit warmer but it's raining, very gloomy, raining day today. We are on December 21st. It's um, the official first day of winter here in the Northern Hemisphere, the shortest day of the year. So that means we are going to be starting to have longer days, starting tomorrow. So that brings a little uh, more light every day, one minute every day or two minutes every day, that's going to be, we are moving towards spring. So I know in the southern hemisphere, you are most probably <laughs> experiencing the longest day of the year and you are going to be having shorter and shorter days towards um, uh, spring, your autumn and uh, your summer. So um, what am I wearing today? First, my um, sweater is a jacket my mother knit a long time ago. It's a bit big for me, uh, but it's very warm. It's with this wool from the Pyrenee, the Pyrenean mill that isn't producing any longer. It's a very uh, rusty wool, very warm. And uh, uh, whenever I need a bit of comforting, this is what I'm wearing. And I'm wearing my uh, Aglia shawl by uh, Mayu KP. My cats are playing. And uh, um, that you've already seen. And the um, yarn is from uh, this summer's uh, Trellis Mystery Box, Myth and Orion Belt. And uh, uh, yeah, this shawl, as I've, I've already said that, I try, as I think yellow isn't, fitting my skin color very much. I try to place the green part uh, closer to my skin. And I usually wear it uh, with, uh, now that I have it, with that, uh, that sweater, because I think the colors um, match together. So uh, where am I with my uh, knitting project? No finished objects, no finished objects. I haven't had any time to finish my Sorel sweater, with, which is a work in progress right now. So I'm gonna to move towards uh, my work in progress. And this is my Sorel. I've been trying to work a lot on it to have it finished by today, but you know, I could not manage. Uh, we have a sleeve. And we almost have, oh, sorry for the noise. We almost have a second sleeve. I like the fade very much. I'm almost out of um, the north. Um, I'm almost out of this second skin of Winterfell, um, the mohair. I need a little scarf with it. So I will have to wait out how much I have um, out of um, the mohair with a little scarf to have the exact quantities I used because I know some people have said that um, my fade inspired you and what I wanted to do, but I did not have any, any time. I have seen uh, the air guitar. I, I could not find it again on um, uh, La Bienimé's uh, site. So these are all La Bienimé's yarn. But I've seen in my feed somewhere, I've, you know, saved them, but I did not have enough time to, to look at it. Um, I've seen other 
companies dyeing uh, yarn that are similar to that kind of spirit, at least the way it looks in the skein. So um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm almost out of the air guitar. Um, I have to wait out how much I uh, used for a storm. That was the first uh, fade. And you see, I, I'll see how much I have left of the north. That's the second fade. And of course, um, how much I used of the mohair. Um, that you can see here is giving the little fuzzy, uh, the little fuzzy um, blue halo of the uh, on the whole sweater. Uh, yeah, so some, some of you have said that um, it's inspiring you for the fade. I, I love this fade so very much, not because, because I came up with it. At first, I did not have uh, the storm colorway. It's uh, Julia from La Bien Aimé who's advised me to use it. And uh, so I bought another skin to match my fade. The North, I like a lot. And uh, of course, a air guitar is a fantastic colorway. Um, the feeling of the sweater is uh, it's extremely soft. Um, La Bien Aimé's yarn are on the most expensive side of, you know, yarn. Uh, but I think it totally justifies um, the price. And uh, uh, will I use uh, there you are again, yeah, once I'm done with uh, knitting from my whole stash and uh, uh, when I want to treat uh, myself because... Uh, so I will have used, if you have, if you want about um, an estimation, almost three uh, skeins of uh, Merino singles in that sweater and almost two balls, two skeins of uh, the mohair silk. Um, so I used twisted ribs. I do not recall if, I think that's what they call for in the pattern. I do not recall, but I like twisted ribs uh, better for edging. I like the look of the twisted ribs uh, when, uh, you know, when you, when you use them for, uh, on, in, a, in, a, in a pattern. And I think, I think I'm going to be done by uh, Christmas, I hope because I would like, uh, one, to wear it uh, for Christmas, and two, to cast on um, my uh, Christmas cast on. And, and I have two projects. So one is gonna be my Christmas cast on, and the other one is gonna be my New Year's uh, cast on. So yeah, it's almost, uh, it's almost finished. I'm gonna interrupt the cough. Yeah, you may uh, have heard, I'm a, I have a bit of a cold, it's not COVID, I tested negative for that, uh, but still having a bit of a cold. So I hope I'm going to be do, done by uh, Christmas to wear it um, uh, on, the, uh, on Christmas Day. So next uh, is a uh, new cast on and a work in progress. And maybe if I had not to rip out twice, I may have, you know, one of the two mittens finished, but uh, now I think I'm on the right path. Um, I have, you know, I'm, I have separated for the thumb uh, and I'm using this yarn uh, that my son uh, Theo brought me for my birthday for, uh, from his uh, science conference in Cardiff. So this is the uh, caramel I, I write the name, I don't recall caramel, some, maybe caramel color from uh, Marina Yarns uh, DK. And I'm using a free pattern, I'm going to show it to you right now. Um, uh, this pattern, and I liked the little butterfly um, design on it very much. It's a free pattern, I'm going to show it to you. And I made the cuff much longer, and once again, with uh, twisted ribs, which I like better. Uh, so the pattern is Annette Mittens. Annette is a, a French um, uh, name, a girl's name. Um, and uh, the designer is uh, Lauriane et Charlie. Lauriane is um, a French designer who lives in Montreal and Charlie is her daughter. 
And uh, so she has a lot of patterns, uh, possible patterns at least, I should say. And these little mittens are really adorable. I liked very much the little design and you can have a, you can have a look um, on Ravelry if you, if you want. Um, for the design, there is a, a, a thumb a gusset. I will have to fix that hole at some point. In my other iterations, I did not have any holes, but maybe there's a thread here, no. Um, anyway, so why did I have to um, rip twice? First, because um, there are three uh, of these designs on the back of the hand. So um, the way the pattern is laid out, you have on one side uh, the uh, pattern for the little butterfly uh, stitch and on the other side the instructions for uh, forming the thumb, thumb gusset. Why did I think that I would have to read that way and then read that, that way? I don't know, maybe I was thinking I was reading a newspaper or something. Anyway, I did not catch, and it was written on the, uh, on the pattern, that you have to do both at the same time. So that was one thing I ripped out. And then I'm using a yarn that is a bit heavier than the one recommended in the pattern, because, you know, there is only one size and her hands are very tiny. There are, there are videos about uh, this pattern all in French and they are linked um, uh, in the pattern and on her Ravelry uh, project. And so I thought, you know, she has very tiny hands. It starts raining. Uh, very tiny hands. I may add one uh, butterfly um, motif before I separate for the thumb. And I went and I did not measure. And once I had, I was in the ribbing part, you know, I tried on saying it's a bit big. Yeah, it was too long and the cuff wasn't positioning itself like, like it should on my wrist. So I ripped out again. And so I'm starting the um, uh, gusset a bit later on the pattern that what she's recommended because yeah I think my hands are bigger than hers but other than that I'm trying it on and uh, you know it was it was fitting me properly uh, so I'm going to be continuing I'm using a uh, very cheap um, uh, DPNs and I have to say uh, that she recommends uh, I guess rosemary you may recognize <laughs> the little um, uh, stitch marker here and I have to say that I'm not a huge fan maybe an unpopular opinion of a magic loop I know how to do it when I do magic loop it works it's not that it's not working it works but I prefer DPNs, maybe because it's the way I've been, um, I, I've been taught. I do not know. And the thing is, um, working on small circumferences for um, sweater uh, uh, sleeves. Uh, I did not use my DPNs because I'm not sure, uh, these are very cheap ones. I did not think, I wasn't sure that even though the diameter was in millimeters the same you know, as the one I'm using um, for the rest of the body, I wasn't sure it was exactly the same, or I, I, would, I should say I was sure it was not exactly the same uh, diameter. And uh, um, I did not want to knit the sleeves on DPNs that were not exactly the, the same as my, uh, the, uh, circular needles, the higher, higher circular needles I used for the body. So I'm doing a combination of uh, <laughs> DPNs where I need until the moment of uh, uh, it's all tied up and I can't do and I pull the, uh, <laughs> I pull the needle um, and uh, um, the cable and I knit again. It's, it's not 
it's not um, a magic loop. I maybe it's half magic loop. I don't know, uh, but I, 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 I can't do magic loop. So um, one of my projects will be most probably to buy needle sets. So either DPNs that are of good quality and of a reliable diameter, or uh, buy shorties. I don't know how I feel about shorties because um, I bought shorties once and um, with a bigger diameter, like eight millimeter needles or something. And it was not that easy for me. So I will have to think about that. But anyway, that's my easy and comforting and uh, uh, easy knit. Uh, even though I'm trying to work on my sorrel as much as I can, and I, I, I want to finish it as soon as I can. So next, we are going to be moving to acquisitions. Um, this is not some uh, segment I've been doing a lot this whole year because I'm uh, on a yarn, no by year with regulations that I'm going to be revisiting for next year. I will continue my project, but I, 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 I'll be revisiting some of my own guidelines. But, uh, or not but, but, and um, another lovely subscriber, another lovely one of you has sent me what I call presents. Um, it was total, a total surprise. I did not ask for anything. And of course, I'm not asking you <laughs> for anything. But, you know, she, she was, she wanted to thank me uh, once again from, for bringing joy and happiness into her own life. And uh, uh, so the package, it was a bit complicated for me to get it. But anyway, it arrived and I was completely baffled. Once again, I cried when I opened it. And what was in that package uh, were two skeins or two, um, um, what's the name? Yeah, skein. Yeah, skeins. Two skeins of uh, Bichébouche, Le Petit Lamsfoot. And uh, so Bichébouche is a um, Bichébuche, as I should say in my good French, um, is a company that is uh, from people from Northern Europe. I, I, I'll write here because I would say Sweden, but I'm not sure. Who's moved into um, central France in a very rural um, foresty area. So Biche is the doe, um, the female of the uh, deer. And bush is the wood log that um, you build houses with or you use to warm yourself and make a fire in the a fireplace. So that I think that's why um, they cool themselves that way because they move in that area and they built a house at the beginning. And uh, so they started their own company. So Le Petit Lambswool in um, dark, turquoise uh, color. So um, two skeins of that very beautiful yarn. Uh, I had never experienced and used or touched. I have to say it reminds me a lot of uh, the feeling of uh, uh, the Home Natura, some of their 100% uh, wool yarn. And so in that very, very beautiful between green and, and, and blue color that I love. And two skeins of, uh, I think it's uh, uh, Le Petit Silk Mohair in the same or the companion colorway that is uh, dark blue, yeah, uh, dark blue turquoise. And uh, uh, so, you, you know, everyone knows uh, these yarn everywhere in the world. It, they are very famous. Um, that's the first time I touched them and they are just 
mammals. So um, uh, with also some of the uh, yarn I received uh, previously from Australia, uh, I have assigned patterns. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that uh, later on. But with the uh, uh, Bichébuch, um, uh, Lambs Wool, Le Petit Lambs Wool, and Moher, uh, I will um, need the burrow hood. I think I have enough. I'm not quite sure. Um, and if I do not, I, I make, I have a border with uh, some of my other uh, skeins, either, either from uh, trellis, I, I have a bit of that grain or another contrasting border, or what I'm left uh, from La Bianini's um, uh, yarn, because I, I like um, the little knot very much here. And uh, uh, if I don't use or need the little knot, I think I have enough. If I do need the little knot, it will all depend on my gauge and my tension. And I'm, it, it's, it's almost the right quantity. So I may not have enough. So one solution is use some of my uh, stashed yarn to finishing up if I find a combination that, of colors that I like. Because, you know, I'll st I will have plenty from uh, uh, the mohair, uh, silk, uh, uh, silk, so, you know, you can tone down a difference in color. Or I'll buy, I'll buy another one, no problem. So, but that was not all. Uh, what was also in the package was uh, a coconut uh, measuring tape in that um, very beige color. So it reminds me uh, the stones you can find in the Pyrenees and I guess um, in other mountains uh, streams that are, you know, soft and rounded and, you know, polished by the water. So the measure, you know, metal measuring tape. It's a very, very nice attention because I have to say, I had been thinking, maybe we had, you know, um, uh, we shared uh, some of my ideas be without talking about that because my measuring tapes are old. I'm going to stop to cough. So I was saying my measuring tapes are old and I think it's, and it's a rubber, you know, a kind of a plasticky covering fabric type of uh, measuring tape. And I think it stretches out with Time, and I was thinking I should buy one because I'm not sure my measures are that accurate. It's not, uh, you know, a one centimeter difference, but sometimes your measurement, I have to be accurate. And I was thinking about buying one and one came into my life without me asking for anything. So that was another, you know, extremely pleasant um, uh, thing that was in the package. And the one I'm, I'm keeping for uh, last because I'm gonna have to grab the back that came, came with it, uh, of course. I will uh, use, use that bag for my uh, burrow hood project uh, once I cast it on. So uh, I'm not sure it's gonna be my uh, Christmas or my New Year's cast on. Anyway, both both of these projects are going to be a very, very nice way to finish uh, my year and start my new year. So what was in the bag uh, or in the package again was this book uh, by um, Marianne Isaiah. Um, and so I have to say I learned a lot. Uh, I haven't read everything. I learned a lot about her story and her knitting story and um, how she came to design and uh, how her designs e have echoes uh, in her past and uh, what she's done in the previous years. So. Um, you can find in that book beautiful patterns. This one is Gaudi. Um, 
maybe I'll try to find uh, pictures uh, on Ravelry or elsewhere. I can place uh, somewhere on the screen, but uh, if not, here you have it. Once again, the same design with little buttons that are applied and sewn afterwards. That's one that one that caught my attention when I first had a look at the uh, the book. The second one was this one that is called newspaper. I'm going to stop again. So another design that is a newspaper. I'm not sure how you can see it better. Maybe that way. Um, that really look like a newspaper um, type of uh, color work. Another one is um, triangles. Anyway, the, the book, there is another, another one that is called Easy. Um, this book by uh, Marianne Isaiah, A Knitting Life. Please have a look at the uh, patterns that are in it. And if you like the book, uh, the patterns, you'll like the story, how she uh, started her company, the look for um, uh, her yarn, her yarn base. And uh, um, yeah, a very instructive book uh, associated with very nice patterns. Um, yeah, it's such a pleasant a pleasant surprise. I have no words. I never, never, ever asked or thought I would one day um, receive such presents. And of course, don't feel obliged. I, that the only fact that you are here with me is what brings me joy a lot of the times. And I'm going to stop again. I, I thought that cold was over, maybe because I'm talking more than usual. Uh, but yeah, um, I, as you can say, I, I don't know how to express myself and uh, uh, say how, how thankful I am and how beautiful you are. Merci. Okay, next is, um, I have already talked about it in my uh, last uh, uh, series uh, episode. Um, I received the 52 weeks of Easy Needs by uh, Len Publishing. And uh, uh, if I ordered it, even though I, you know, there were patterns that I really liked, um, uh, it may not have been enough for me to buy the book. It's mostly because I know these books uh, go out of stock quite uh, rapidly. And I wouldn't, when I asked myself, how will I feel if I don't buy it? And it goes out of stock. And I was thinking I was going to be feeling uh, So I ordered it from uh, Lily Come To. I think it was Lily Come To, yes. Uh, I've already uh, uh, linked, uh, I, I will link again, again the website where I, I got it from. And uh, uh, a few patterns that are of some interest to me. Uh, this one is Diamond Twill. <coughs> Sorry. Diamond twill, a vest, and I'm looking for a vest pattern. That's what I want to cast on with some of the yarn I have. So uh, yeah, diamond twill is one, maybe the first one I'm gonna be casting on or not. I'm not sure. Uh, let's stop again. Next one is uh, Brizna. Brizna is by uh, Elena Solier. Chensa, the one uh, designer who uh, created the Sotobosk shawl um, that I need from the previous 52 weeks off. So it was the 52 weeks of shawl book um, that I have. I still have to, you know, um, and it's other, other patterns from that book. One from Teti Lutzak, a funky turtle, a funny one, a funny one. Uh, 
uh, a funny color work uh, uh, sweater and easy, I guess, easy. And the other one is uh, Jutu by uh, Isabel Kramer, a cardigan. You may have noticed I'm not much into cardigans and uh, uh, you know, I, this one uh, caught my eye when uh, the book uh, revealed uh, which patterns were going to be uh, published in that book. So, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe one day <laughs> I will, I will need uh, a cardigan. I have plenty of uh, cardigan patterns from different books. Uh, I also have yet to be knitting from La Bianime's Worsted book and there is one cardigan there also that I like so uh, I will I will have to um, get to that at some point and I will um, as I'm uh, going to be continuing my yarn no buy year and knit from my stash if you don't send me too much yarn <coughs> I'm joking I'm joking but uh, yeah uh, I will continue my project and there are so many beautiful patterns that are waiting for my uh, needles and I have beautiful yarn that is also waiting for my needle. So uh, uh, yeah, I will knit first from uh, the yarn I'm being gifted because uh, it brought me so much joy. I, 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 want, I want to start uh, with that. Next in my acquisitions, so that's something that I bought and uh, uh, I will report in my last episode of my Yarn No Buy Year, maybe for, uh, that I will film for uh, next week. I, I was thinking I was going to film the two videos back to back, but I'm coughing too much, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. When, when I started my No Buy project, I said, okay, uh, if this project is successful and if I go uh, uh, to the end of the project and I can manage my uh, expenses uh, for yarn, about yarn only, and maybe other parts, and these other parts are the ones that I'm going to make small mod adjustments and modifications uh, for my uh, next year, uh, No Buy year. I had said I will buy a swift and a bold winder uh, because, you know, uh, La Bien-Aimée's uh, mohair that I skinned uh, by hand, it was a long, a long and painful <laughs> process, uh, let's say it that way. So I bought um, a swift and a bold winder. So I sort of looked, but not too much because it was kind of a very rapid decision. So the Swift I bought is from Glimakra from Sweden. And uh, uh, I bought it uh, from uh, Lenny Tricot in France. And unfortunately, so it's a very classic. Uh, hopla. <laughs> Let me not uh, hurt myself more. Uh, it's a very classic. Uh, uh, wood, beautiful, uh, uh, swift. Um, unfortunately, Lene Tricot did not have uh, ball winders any longer. So, uh, and I wanted to buy uh, in Europe if I could not buy in France. So, uh, I I do not recall. I will have to write it down. Uh, I think it's birch wood, but I'm not quite sure. I, I will have to check. And it's made, handmade by a family in Sweden. I will uh, also link all the information down below. And uh, of course, the two cakes uh, that I made with the um, uh, uh, Bichébuche uh, yarn that I received were made uh, with, that, uh, with that Swift. But of course, I had said a Swift and a ball winder depending on the price. So I said, okay, I've been good. This is going to be also part of my or my own Christmas present for myself because we do celebrate Christmas here. So I also bought uh, uh, a ball winder. So this one I bought from someone in Germany because I could not find any in France. Uh, or maybe I did not look well enough. And it's the Knit Pro 
uh, Mi Pro 1. Everybody knows that uh, bone winder. It's very nice. I will, I will buy more of these cords uh, because I, I guess you can buy more. Uh, so that, um, uh, yeah, that way, that way. And uh, I did uh, no skin, uh, my two skins, and I skinned once I was there, I skinned more. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, it's extremely smooth, easy, easy to use, well balanced, you know, um, yeah, do I recommend it? Yes. Do I recommend the Swift? Yes. Uh, they are pricey, yes. Um, but that was, you know, sort of uh, a gift uh, that I had said I could make to myself at the end of the year if my uh, uh, my year, no, my year was successful or if I deemed it was successful. And uh, it's also going to be part of my uh, Christmas present. So, uh, yes, I'm very happy with that. And uh, uh, I hope, yes, I hope that um, uh, you are, uh, if you do not celebrate um, Christmas, that this end of year and your knitting is bringing you joy and happiness because this year this knitting adventure during over a year now because the channel started over a year ago where i met so many nice people we had conversations uh, online conversations that people who gifted me um i had never imagined it would happen and uh, many of you said that i'm bringing with other words of course I'm bringing you joy and happiness into your life, but please know that you do too. Every time that someone comments on my channel, it's a spark of joy that comes into my day and I take it inside of me and I use it for the whole day or even longer because, you know, joy and happiness, we have to actively work on that. It's not coming all by itself into our lives, in particular if you are in a dark spot of your own life, you have to actively work on finding these little sparks of happiness, even though in my case here it was huge <laughs> fireworks of happiness, and uh, uh, place them into your life and cherish them and nourish them so that they can compile, you know, be with you for the whole day and uh, the days to come. And it will, at least that's what happened to me, it will help you as it helped me go through difficult times and uh, not give up and keep your chin up and keep continuing. So, yeah, I do hope you find, you know, little sparks of joy and happiness that you're knitting uh, brings you joy and happiness into your life as much as you give me and my knitting gives me and all these beautiful upcoming projects are giving me and uh, yes thank you for being here with me up to the end and uh, I will see you next time